Hello fisher persons, here we go. This little session is going to be about lures and the various type of heads, jig heads that are out there. Uh, starting with the lures, um, this chartreuse glow beetle, three inch glow beetle, is a lure I used exclusively for many years. Then I got onto the purple beetle, three inch purple beetle. These are H and H lures. Uh, H&H purple beetle they have out today is more reddish looking. You need to get that dark purple lure. That's the one you're looking for. Up here, everybody knows this, and this is the uh, Matrix Shad lemon head. Uh, I, I use that too. I like that one. Uh, but that's my three major, uh, our three ma my three major lures that we use. I either the Matrix Shad or either one of these H&H uh, uh, beetles. As far as the heads go, just like with, with live bait, less is best. Less is best. Starting out over here, this is a 164th head. That's a, a freshwater lure that uh, Captain Don, as he likes to be called, Big Don, uses. And he rigs it with this little bitty black one inch grub here. And you wouldn't believe the amount of perch, sock leg, lake runners, uh, Bluegill, uh, goggle eyed, you name it, this thing catches everything. I've been out with Don many times and we, we've knocked, knocked them out dead with that. Next up is a 1 8 ounce head. This is this H&H uh, &H 1 8 ounce head with a gold hook. This is the quarter ounce head, white head with a gold hook. Here is, is, is a 3 8 ounce head, gold hook. This is a half ounce head, a little heavier hook. And this is the famous three-quarter ounce head. Now, we started using the three-quarter ounce head last year, trolling Lake Pontchartrain. We string this uh, matrix shad onto that, and we troll with that. Trick or the kick, you got to leave out enough line to get close to the bottom. And you're going to hang up a lot, but uh, with that combination of this three-quarter ounce head and that tail, we knocked some, some big trout out uh, last year before last. This year, we didn't do too good with them. Too many uh, problems with the river water and the wind and everything else that was going on. Down here are two heads that I used to use a lot. I like the orange head. This goes back to when I was coming up with my dad fishing the trussel. And we fished with speck of go -Go's. We had an orange head. Quarter, a one eighth orange head though. And then the yellow. I like this uh, fluorescent yellow. Now I will use the, the chartreuse glow beetle with the white head, the lead head, the yellow head, and this orange head here. Uh, I'll use any one of those with them. On the purple, I prefer to use either the lead head color or the white. And white is my, my preference across the board. As far as the matrix shad goes, you could use either the white, the uh, chartreuse yellow, or the international orange red. You can mix them up. But my go-to is the white head. Chartreuse beetle, whitehead, purple beetle, whitehead, lemon drop. As far as the weights go, when I said the less is best, if you're fishing a slack tide, I would go with the one eight ounce head. Uh, if you're fishing with a caulk and you want your lure to fall slow, go with a one eighth ounce one head. My all around head is the quarter ounce. I use that more than any of them. The three eight, I'll use that sometimes if the currents are strong, a little strong. Or if we're doing the Oak River Troll and we get above 1.8 miles an hour, I'll use that. The half ounce, very, very seldom I use that. I mean, that's, that's, the tide's really got to be rolling and I really got to be moving with the wind during the Oak River Troll. And the three quarter ounce, the only time I use that is in Lake Pontchartrain trolling the trussels. And I, I masked that up with a uh, six pound Power Pro. Uh, with, with, with a uh, probably a 12 to 14 inch mono 15 pound leader and I fish with my Karatas uh, uh, the uh, bait casters everything else is done with spinning reels and maybe one day we'll do a little section on on, on rods and reels but to close up uh, these are my three basic lures purple being my, my guy if I if I'm not catching nothing and it's tough I'm going to purple I'm a fish purple hard but I'm not opposed to changing. For the last few trips we've been out, it's been all, all Shaw, this matrix shad with the quarter ounce head. But use the heads based on the tide movement, the current, and everything else. You want main, main thing is trying to keep that lure 
close to the bottom or on the bottom and then the 164 is a fresh water head and this here is is the little grub that that Don uses I've had a lot of people ask me about how do you rig how do you rig a uh, a lure I mean how do you rig it on on your uh, on your on your on your head how do you rig it well normally what I do is I'll take take the quarter ounce head it's just saying and I'll hold the black dot towards me then I pinch it I pinch it like that I want to pinch it to close it up to where I get that lure right in the middle of it right there and I want to go in to about where it turns about right there and then I want to come out like this and I'm going to push that lure all the way up to, to the head and you can see the action you get if you go too far in it stifles the action uh, I'd rather be a little less than too far in but the hook when you're looking at it the black dot should be facing you this is your hook you tie your line and that's the way you do it the green one you do it the same way uh, no different and whatever head I'm using I do it the same way as far as attaching the lure to the head now with the matrix shad it's a little bit different because I, I had feelings about how to do that whether you come through here or you come through here what we've done is we're going through here once again I pinch it because I want to try to keep that hook right in the center line of, of the bait I'm gonna go in like that right to the curve I'm coming out and I'm gonna push it just like that and that's what it looks like you're coming out the flat side of the lure now when, when you know you get, catch a few trout it's gonna get beat up but I'll take and, and, and hook it or maybe a little on the top and get a few more uses out of it um, so that, that's the way we, we, we rig them up. And as far as knots go, I just do a, a, a twist four times, go through one time, go through the loop twice, pull it down. That's all I use. And I use that same knot to join my, uh, my mono to my, to my Power Pro line. It seems to work for me. <clears throat> um, I don't do tandems. I do everything uh, with, with the um, line straight to the lure. I don't use no swivels. I don't use no snaps. Like I said, with live bait, less is best. So I want that line to be just a line so I can feel it. And as it's going along the bottom, you just you just want to, if you can visualize it, you just, you're just bouncing that lure along the bottom like that. You know, sometimes you want to free fall. That lure just start falling down, come down like that, and you'll, they'll hit it on the way down. So the three, the three major lures, again, uh, closing out is the Matrix Shad Lemon Drop up top here, and the Purple Beetle, and the Chartreuse Glow. If I'm in a bind and I'm having a hard time, I'm going with the Purple Beetle. Uh, I normally stay with a quarter ounce head. Very seldom do I go to, to a one-eighth. I used to fish one-eighth exclusively, but I, I find that the quarter ounce is, is a, uh, a universal weight. And then when I'm in Lake Pontchartrain, I'll go to the 3.8 and very seldom with a half ounce. And the only time I use the three quarter is when uh, we're trolling Lake Pontchartrain. And uh, as far as this goes, you could use the, uh, the green colored lures, both of them. You could use a, a lead color head, a white head, a yellow head, an orange head. But as far as the purple goes, I kind of stick with the, uh, the white head or a lead color head. So that's, <clears throat> that's it for lures. That's the ones we normally use if you look at the reports. I mean, uh, on the Matrix Shad or the, or the Chartreuse Glow or the Glow be, uh, Purple Beetle. The Purple Beetle at they're selling right now at H&H &H is not that color. It's more of a reddish color. Uh, I bought 2,000 of them from H&H &H and they, uh, the 1,000 bag had the, the color I wanted. The other 1,000 bag had that reddish. I gave it back to them and no problem. Uh, no explanation why it's like that. I don't know if they'll ever get back to the uh, Purple. Does all this make a difference? Does the head type make a difference? The head color make a difference? Or, or the lure? Maybe not, but to me it does. I mean, like I said, if I'm in a bond and I need, my confidence is low, purple and white. That's my confidence lure. And I would suggest you do the same thing. Find out what you have most confidence in and that's what you fish with. I went to that uh, sportsman show in Gonzales a few weeks back. They had more lures in there than you could shake a stick at. And every time I go fishing with somebody, they're trying to talk me on a different lure. And I said, hey, man, all I need is a purple beetle or a chartreuse glow beetle. That's all I need. And, and it, you can make it happen with those two lures. 
Uh, as far as carp fishing goes, I really don't, I'm just not my thing, but I will do it. But I would never use uh, anything more than uh, one eighth ounce, a quarter ounce anyway, with a carp. And then maybe one eighth might be better. Back to hooking the lure, uh, I forgot to tell y'all, uh, some people look at it when they hook it. They may hook it sideways like this, with the hook coming out at the bottom. <clears throat> That's going to make it fall slower. You know, and, then, and you might get a little different action, but when you have it like this, it falls faster because it, the resistance of the water, it falls better like that. So I don't hook mine like that. Maybe some people do, I don't know. But everything we do, whoop, everything we do is right here, sideways. We don't hook it flat. We're, we're people on the water like that, you know. Well, I hope this helped, folks. Uh, take a look at it. Uh, let me know if, if I missed anything. Or if you have any questions, you can email me uh, on my email address. And I'll try to answer any questions you got. That's it, folks. Hope you all have some luck with it.